March is the month to celebrate and honor the triumphs of women through the course of history. This Women's History Month, here's a look at some of the phenomenal ladies who shattered the glass ceiling in business. It's impossible to talk about women in business without mentioning Indra Nui. Born in a middle-class family in Chennai, Nui is an alum of IIM Calcutta and the Yale Management School. She served as CEO of PepsiCo for 12 years and during her time at the company, she aimed to redirect Pepsi towards healthier alternatives. We should use whatever talents we have, not only in the pursuit of a successful career, but in the pursuit of a successful life. In February this year, 63-year-old Nui joined Amazon's board of directors, making her the second woman of colour to join the online retail giant. A fan of the arts, Nui is also a member of the board of Lincoln Centre for Performing Arts. Next on our list, Kiran Mazumdar Shaw. Born in Pune, she started Biocon Limited out of her garage at the age of 25 and within its first year, Biocon became the first Indian company to export enzymes to the United States. Biocon is also the first Indian company to gain FDA approval. A recipient of the Padma Bhushan for her work in biotechnology, she is also working towards a sustainable and affordable cancer care model and is amongst the richest self-made women in India. An alumna of Lady Sri Ram College in Delhi, Naina Lal Kidwai is a woman of many firsts. She's the first Indian woman to graduate from Harvard Business School, the first female president of FICCI and as the country head of HSBC, the first woman to head foreign bank operations in India. Uncles and uh, sort of extended family, sort of, so when are you going to get married and settle down? And I was like, well, you know, why should I? And uh, quite enjoying standing up, demonstrating that I was a bit of a rebel. Many roles fit Nena Kidwe, a chartered accountant, a business executive and even an author. Nena Lal Kidwe is currently working on issues close to her such as sanitation and access to water. Aruna Jayanti is an alumnus of the Narsi Munji Institute of Managed Studies in Mumbai. As Managing Director for Business Services for the Capgemini Group in Asia Pacific and Latin America, Aruna is the only woman on the French software giant's global leadership board. Aruna ranks fourth in the list of 50 most powerful Indian women by Fortune India magazine and is also an Executive Council member of NASCOM. A gold medalist from the XLRI Business School in Jamshedpur, Rekha Menon is the Chairman and Managing Director of Accenture in India. She oversees the integration of Accenture's overall growth strategy in the country. Rekha believes that AI can remove gender biases at work. She is also a member of NASCOM's National Executive Council. An active hiking and cycling enthusiast, Rekha is also a voracious reader. <laughs> 